The tutorial you're about to watch is from the Lightroom Organization and Workflow Workshop, which is part of the SR Lounge Lightroom Workshop Collection. This workshop on DVD starts from the ground up with Lightroom file management, organization, and health photographers to master a full professional post-production workflow. The workshop includes over 70 high-definition videos, and it totals nearly eight hours of uninterrupted education. Also included are 70 raw image exercise files and our workflow guide and checklist. Designed for Lightroom 4 and Lightroom 5 users, you can learn more or purchase this workshop from the SR Lounge store by clicking the link below in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I'm gonna give you three reasons why I love the film strip, all right? And really, it's it's one major reason. There's one major reason there that I truly love it and I use it all the time. The two other ones are reasons that I do dig it, but uh, you know, three's our magic number and I need to come with three and so I've got three for you. All right, so number one is basically our quick access features in the bottom left of the film strip. Well, it's actually the top part of the film strip, but it's on the bottom left of the screen. All right, so we have a couple different options here. One is our quick option access to basically our secondary display options. Once again, if we ever forget these shortcut keys to secondary displays, or if we ever just wanna enable it with, with this menu, we can go down here, we can right click, and we can see all the different options that we have available for secondary display. In addition, we have quick access to different types of views. So if I click this button right here, it's gonna take me back to my grid view, and I can also click forward and backward to basically take me between steps on what I just did or where I just came from, basically. So it's a back and forward button. Lastly, in this little quick access selection area, we have the option to choose a recent source. This is based on smart collections that we might have been viewing or on folders that we might have been viewing where we can just basically select a previous source and get to that quick nav just showing those five conceptual photographs or whatever it is we want to quickly look at. Again, I can go back and access the all photographs very quickly. And if my mouse is down here, rather than having to drag it up to catalog to do that, I know it's like, it's a few hundred pixels of laziness, all right? So we can just keep it right there and select our source right there from that little quick drop down. Now, the next reason I love the film strip is it gives me a quick idea of what I have in my catalog and including the different ratings that I have, okay? So let's go back to grid view by hitting G. And I'm just gonna apply some arbitrary ratings. So let's set this one as a flag by hitting P. I'm gonna set this one as flagged. We're gonna set this as rejected. I'm gonna set this one as red by hitting six. I'm gonna set this rejected by hitting X. And this is not, by the way, what I truly think of these photos. This is just random. All right, we're gonna set this one to uh, green and that's great. Now what we see down here in the film strip is if we're in loop view and looking at one of these images, we can see basically a quick idea of everything in our catalog. We see which images are rejected, we see which ones are flagged, we see stars, labels, and so forth. So it gives us an idea of what's coming up next, as well as basically different ratings and labels that we've applied to these images. Now last, and this is my all-time favorite use for my film strip, is it's great for culling because we have some quick filter options in the bottom right. So with these quick filter options, we can basically choose to filter via these different camera options from camera info uh, to, well, what I think is the most useful is actually just flagged and rated. So depending on whether you're using flagged or rating systems, we use rating systems, so we're just gonna select flagged. Now what we do is again, we base our system either one or the other. It's either a pick or it's a reject. And generally we don't leave anything in between unless it truly deserves to be in between. All right, so with rejected photos, we're gonna delete those. With unselected photos, that to us in our workflow means that it has not yet been rated. With a flag photo marked as P, that is an image that we're gonna keep and deliver, we're gonna process it and so forth. So what we do with our filter down here is we set it to flagged and then we just go and choose what we want. So what we do with our filter is we go over right to this filter menu and we can select to filter based on unflagged photos, okay? So now it's showing only photos that are unflagged. So watch this, as I'm going through and I'm choosing, let's say I'm gonna keep this as a pick, I'm gonna keep this as a pick, it's immediately dropping them from our filter because now those have a flag applied to them, they're no longer unflagged images. So it becomes very quick. I can say pick, pick, oh, I'm gonna reject this one, hit X, I'm gonna reject, I'm gonna pick, pick, I'm gonna reject, pick, 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 and so forth, okay? So it's easy to fly through our photos. We're only pressing two buttons, either P or either X, and it's automatically cycling us to the next photo because this filter is automatically filtering out anything that's unflagged.
From a workflow standpoint, we can see all of our images if we want. We can go back to the grid view. And I know that we've basically rated all the way up to this point where no longer we don't have any flags or rejections. And so when I come back to the catalog, I can start from this point knowing that, okay, these are the images that are unflagged. They're the images that have not yet been rated. So if at any point you want to change the filter criteria, or if you don't see flags, you don't see stars, just pull in this menu and you can choose what filter you want to use. You can also save the, the filter that whatever you set up as a new filter preset, and you can turn on and off this filter just by this little switch right here as well. All right, so that's it for the film strip. What I'm going to do now is just quickly reset all of these, uh, well, labels and ratings that we've applied. So let's hit Control A or Command A on a Mac to select all of our photos. This time, let's right click. I like to do things differently every time just to show you all the options, all of our kitty cat options. All right, so if that didn't make sense, you haven't seen enough of these videos yet. All right, let's go back to set flag. We're gonna go unflagged. Let's go to set rating. We're gonna go none. Let's go to set color label. We're gonna go none as well. Okay, so we're back to normal. We're gonna hit Control D or Command D to deselect this selection right here, and uh, we're good. So let's head on to the next video now.